In this video, we will begin to look at logs, or logarithms, and their relationship with exponents. A logarithm is simply a new function that we will use as the inverse of an exponent. We might have an equation such as b to the x equals a, which is an exponential function. We have a base, we have an exponent, and we have an answer. We will rewrite the same problem, having the same value and the same representation in a different form with this logarithm. We say we have a log, and we put the base really small, base b, of the answer is equal to x. Notice the logarithm is equal to x, which is the exponent. You'll hear it said that a logarithm is an exponent. The most important thing that you can understand to be able to do with a logarithm is to be able to convert back and forth between these two forms. Given an exponent, rewrite it as a log. Given a log, rewrite it as an exponent. So let's try several examples where we do just that. When we write as a logarithm, we write as a subscript, really small, the base. The base on this problem is the m. Inside the logarithm, we put the answer, log base m of 25, and the logarithm is always equal to the exponent, in this case, 2. In this next example, we can rewrite it as a log by writing as a subscript the base of the problem. We say we have log base 5. We can then stick the answer inside the logarithm and make it equal to the exponent, x. A logarithm is an exponent. What the logarithm equals is the exponent. Let's take a look at some examples where we convert the other direction. In these problems, we have to first identify the base. The base is always the subscript on the log x. The exponent we want to use is always what's after the equal sign, squared. This will equal our answer, which comes from the inside of the logarithm, 64. Doing another example in much the same way, log base 5 of x equals m. This tells us that the base of the problem is 5, and the exponent is what's after the equal sign, 5 to the m. This will equal our answer, which is always what's inside the logarithm, or the x. This ability to convert back and forth between logs and exponents is the most important thing you're able to do as you work with logarithms.